a Mizrahi, if you want something done, you ask Naomi. And Naomi does everything. Naomi is, you know, student council president. She's captain of all UN. She's captain of the basketball team. She's editor in chief of the yearbook of our literary magazine. She does everything. You know, her leadership is incredible. And she does it all with integrity. If she says she's going to do something, she does it. I've chosen to be involved in a lot of different things because I really find value out of all the different things that I do. So whether it's being part of a team for, through sports or um, I think that being a leader is a really important skill for making friends, for being a person in general, for work experience, for the future. One of the most amazing things about Naomi is her humility. So she's so successful, you know, academically and with all her extracurriculars and she has so much leadership. Um, but she never, she doesn't brag about it. She doesn't really talk about it, you know, and she just respects everybody and collaborates with everybody. I don't find it hard not to be boastful. I think that everybody has their different skills and talents and some people are better in school than others. Some people are better, you know, on the court or um, in different things. So everybody definitely has their talents. For me, I've seen my siblings are all very, very smart. So I've kind of like looked up to them. And um, since I was little, my catchphrase, like when I was like three, my catchphrase was, I'm not cute, I'm smart. Um, so that was also just like a goal for me to do my best and be the best that I could be intellectually and in everything else. So Naomi obviously is a, a very talented student, but one of the areas where she really excels is, is writing. And uh, her long papers especially, I really enjoy how she connects everything together. And she got so good that I would actually save her work for last. So when I was grading, I would grade every other student's and then I would, as soon as her name came up, I just push it to the back of the stack because I knew it would, it would push me to get to her paper because it was just so well written. She cared so much and put so much effort into it that it was always a joy to get to the end. And so saving that for last, just like the last bite of a dessert, was one of my favorite things of teaching Naomi. So integrity to me is having strong moral values and then standing by those values and being faithful and true to those values even when it gets tough. So in life, when somebody might be pushing you against your values, you just have to know and do what you believe in. If you keep practicing integrity and keep holding fast by your values, then it becomes more than just a fluke that you stood up for yourself. It becomes a habit, it becomes a part of who you are. And then people look to you and say, wow, that's an ethical person. I want to be like them. I want to do that. And then people hold strong to their values as well.